Now, if you've been to your parents' house recently or somebody who's a bit more technologically inept, they probably own one of these things, which is like a laptop stand with fans in them. I don't know if only old people use them, but that's the only place I've ever seen them. Uh, so let's see if they make any difference. Now before we get into any test results, let's just have a look at the actual build quality of this one. Now I don't actually know what brand this is because it's not branded other than what looks like a Beats sticker here, but <laughs> I don't think that necessarily has anything to do with who built this. Um, but you get from various manufacturers, you get from Cooler Master and such, and they're usually the same thing. Although this one's really well built, it's all metal as you can hear, and it's very sturdy. It's got two, what looks like 90 millimeter fans, I'm not sure, let's just give it a quick measure. I actually have the measuring tape with me this time. Um, so they look like 90 millimeter fans, but they could be a different size. Ooh, they're 80 millimeter fans, so it, unless I don't know how to use a measuring tape. Two 80 millimeter fans, which is not amazing because they're quite small fans they might be quite large but we'll have a look at that a bit later and then over here it's also got a usb hub in it so you have the square usb going into it and this square usb actually powers it as well uh, that's how i'm going to be testing it and then it's got four output ports and i'm also going to do a test on what kind of performance effect this has and it also has a five volt dc power input now i don't have the power cable that comes with this so i can't test it with that but I'm going to use the USB, the square USB to power it as well. Okay, now I've got a laptop over here so that we can just kind of give you a bit of an indication. Ooh, cable just hit stuff there. Just give you a little bit of an indication as to how noisy the fans actually are because that's quite important. If they are very noisy, there's no point because, yeah, then it's going to be super irritating to have it around. As you can see, they spin up and... If I speak quietly over it, I don't know how, how well you can hear it, but they've got, they've got quite an irritating hum, actually. I don't know if this is better, but it is really cooling. There is some air coming through there and it's really hot in this room and it's helping out a lot. I'm gonna test it in four configurations. The first one is going to be with the laptop just flat on a table like this. And then I'm gonna run IDA64 for 20 minutes to see if it throttles thermally and how hot it kind of tops out at. And then I'm gonna do a test where I put something under the bottom of the laptop and just elevate it off the table without the stand there. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do one test with this flat on the table. We're finally gonna do a fourth test cycle where I'm actually gonna lift this whole stand off of the table just to see how much of an effect that lack of breathing room under the stand has. And then just so you know what kind of laptop we're testing it with, this is a Dell XPS 15. It's got an 8750H in it, which is a six core CPU, which I'm just gonna let it do its own boost cycle thing. I'm not gonna manually overclock it. And we're just gonna see to what extent it thermally thr throttles because this is quite a thin laptop. So it does, it is renowned for temperature issues. I haven't repasted it or anything like that. It's just in its stock configuration. And then, yeah, we'll see how much the stand actually helps cool that thirsty six core uh, laptop CPU. And after having looked at the results, they're fairly surprising. Honestly, it only makes a very small difference using the laptop stand with the fans inside. In fact, the optimum solution is just lifting the laptop off the table so that the laptop's own cooling can do a better job. Now, I think this can be quite easily explained because the fans don't quite line up with where the vents in the actual laptop is. Now, I actually misunderstood how the laptop stand worked, so I used it upside down for the first set of tests, and it actually led to quite an interesting test result. So let's look at those.
<laughs> I actually really like results like this when you use a product not in its intended setup and it actually gives you better results. So if you have it upside down, it performs fairly similarly to if you just prop it up on something, although that solution is still the best. And that kind of shows you that the extra fans in this setup, in this badly designed setup, doesn't really help you. And honestly, it just adds noise to the configuration. And the conclusion of all of these tests is, well, apparently old people are wrong. Having a laptop stand with fans in it doesn't actually help the cooling performance. And the reason I think this is the case is because unless the laptop stand is exactly designed for your specific laptop, which let's be honest, it's never the case, it could actually interfere with the laptop's own cooling solution and not have venting in the right space and so on. Now, I might hear you saying that, well, the thing is, this is clearly designed for a 13 inch laptop. But if you take a 13 inch laptop, which thumbs up for the super retro MacBook here, and you put it on top of the Dell, you'll see that width wise, they're the same size. So technically it should work, right? This should be kind of set up for that. But I mean, just if you look at the old MacBook, like it doesn't even, even have vents in the back. So like, what's the point of having fans down there? And another issue I think with this laptop stand is that the air is actually blowing up into the laptop instead of helping pulling air away from it. So it might actually be fighting the laptop's own cooling fan direction. So if you do want to buy a laptop stand, you're better off buying one that just lifts your laptop off the table and doesn't get in the way of the actual cooling ventilation on the bottom of the laptop. So let the laptop do its own thing um, just with you know less table in the way. Anyway, with that, thank you very much for watching. I have an Instagram account if you want to check it out called David Does Tech Stuff. And then I also have a Twitter account, which is at David Does. So go check those out if you want more of me in your life. It sounds weirdly clingy. But anyway, until the next video, bye bye.